What's up guys? Preston H now. I'm over here at the United States Post Office in Merrimack, New Hampshire. I'm gonna conduct a First Amendment audit to see if they respect our rights to film here in public. Today is February 12th, 2021. I appreciate all you guys' support on my channel. If you guys haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to Press NH Now. And we're going to go in, buy a stamp, and uh, look at the post of seven, see if it's out of date or not. I'm going to jump right into it here. Oh, well, we will look for poster seven, like I always do. Usually it's in one of these boards, and I think it's right here, and it's out of date. June 2006. So I'm going to go speak with the postmaster and uh, see if they can update that. Are you just... Uh, yeah, got it. Yeah. You got a box here, you can do it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah, go ahead. I'm not here. I'm just I'm just filming in public, ma'am. Go ahead. I'm not getting her information. Okay, I'll point it this way until she's done. Does it? Yeah, can you? Because you don't even know your rules and regulations. Yeah. Okay, I'm not. Okay, I'm not. Oh, okay. I wasn't filming her. It's facing over here. Look, I'm in a public space, okay? I'm in a public space. Continue, please. Okay. I, I need service. Are you the postmaster? All right. Maybe first you'd like to actually change your poster seven because it's actually out of date. No, I will worry about that because you work for the public. So you're going to go do that, and then you're going to serve me. I need a stamp. He's pointing the camera at the lady again. I'm not pointing it at anybody in particular. Stop You're causing a disturbance. This customer. That's against the rules and no, rules. it's not. No, it's not. The bank I need a penny stamp, please. Is. I, I don't have one. We have to do it through a computer. I'll just give you one. Huh? Yeah. Thank you. Was he he wants a stamp? Yeah. Stamp. I do. No, I won't. Well, you'll leave at 5 o'clock. Okay? Yes, I will. And that's how long I'll be here now. We could call the police. Okay, they don't even have jurisdiction. And if you think this is my first day doing this, you're crazy. Does somebody pay you to do this, or do you just have nothing better to do? I hold my government accountable. That's what I do. Oh, good grief. Mm, I know. Hey, yeah, I just need a receipt. Uh, one penny stamp. Okay. 
So you buy it once back, sir? Uh, he already has the stamp. Okay. Just need to hand. ring it out. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Go ahead and insert. Just give me a second. You guys are rude. That's why I'm here. Okay. I think you're the one who's being rude. Okay. Think what you like. Like, give it how I take it, how I got it. How are you doing, Tom? Okay. Uh, printed receipt or an email? Uh, printed, please. I'll definitely take the survey. Yeah, and it's uh, Thank you very much. Okay, thanks. Thank you. I have a receipt here on his product. I've got a survey which we invite to carry it. I am filming my governor employees in the course of their duties. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to sit here quietly so I don't disturb anybody. I don't want to be filmed. Would you like somebody coming in filming you? Come on, sir. Thanks. I'm going to sit back and be quiet because I don't want to be... you're also filming customers that aren't government employees. I don't want to disturb the peace, so I'm going to sit back and stay quiet, okay? No, you need to leave if you don't have any business with us. I'm not harassing anybody. I'm sitting back and staying quiet. Well, you're not doing business with us, so you're 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 trespassing <laughs> at this point. I can take you back. Yeah. Thank you. So Valentine's Day is coming up. You guys can buy your cards. For Valentine's Day. Thank you. I'm trying to educate you on that. You don't. Yes, you do. There's, there's something called the Bank Secrecy Act, which, which actually, you're listen. pointing a camera at a customer who's I'm, using a payment totally. card. That's against the law. So if someone comes in for the, into the next 20 minutes, I'll just stand in front of them. Creating privacy. You're learning. You don't have a job to go to? I already left it. Oh, you did? I did. I work 50 hours a week. I work 55 hours a week, so you can, you can, I know, okay, I know. You want to go change your post to seven? No. You don't? You do, actually. Yeah, you do. And that's why I'm here. And that's why I could do this. Right, I live off the government. They do, and he's not there. And if a customer comes in, I will stand in front of his camera. See, she's learning. This is what they do. They don't have anything else to do, so they come in here, they try to entice us into arguments so that they get YouTube. If the police ever came here, first of all, let me just let me just explain to you, okay, what I do and why I do it. We don't really care. Then don't listen. I don't care. Go change your post to seven and do what you're told. Do you have some mail to sort? Um, I'm, again, I don't work for you. Yeah, you do. Don't stand in front of me like that. Um, you can't point your camera over there. Don't. So I'll stand six in feet front back, of you please. Stand six feet for me, please. You're really pushing it. Am I? What are you going to do? 
file a complaint on you. Be my guest. The police have Hello. my enemies. Be it's my okay. guest. Oh, no, they do have more important things to do than deal with you. I know, and that's why yeah, you're wasting their resources. Oh, there's a customer here. I will stand in front of that camera. That's okay. Just don't stand six feet in front of me. I mean, six feet close six to me. That's all I asked. Right here. That's all I asked. I'm not here for her. I don't want her information. I don't. I don't need it. How do we know that? Well, I'm That's telling what criminals you. Criminals do. Criminals. Try I'm not a criminal. To get other people's. I'm not a criminal. Personal information. We take a course on it every year. Okay. So but as I'm, long as there's a customer here, I'm going to stand in front of you. That's okay. okay. Just don't stand closer than six feet. Six feet. Okay. As long as it's six feet, I have no problem. What up, Freedom Strong? Scheduling for a vaccine for people She don't want to change her post to seven. Postmaster right here, call the police on me. I haven't heard anything. We're supposed to get an email or something. Right? We're in Merrimack. Merrimack, New Hampshire. Yep, in Merrimack, New Hampshire, guys. And the postmaster is refusing to change her poster seven. It's out of date. And I'm going static also. Can I have your name? Kathleen. Kathleen what? None of your business. None of my business? So how do I file a complaint? Then Google it. Call 1-800-ASK-USPS. Yeah, I know where it is. Okay. Go ahead, Kathleen.
he'll be he'll come back to me and then I'll be the one calling you. All right. So she blocked my camera with the box. See this, guys? Look how sad this lady is. Just protecting my customer's payment information. I don't want their payment information. So, guys, please do not call the Merrimack Post Office. Tell me about it. Okay, I try. So, we'll be here till closing, guys. She doesn't think that they uh, work for us, and she's really wrong. It's Kathleen, not Karen, but today it's Karen. Dude, look at this. You see this? <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know. I <laughs> I don't know, but I don't know. That's funny, though. What up, me, the people? Fill up what's going on. Is it just documents? Oh, yeah. And the police are on the way? There. Okay, yeah, I just don't want to leave, that's all. They I don't probably want just have other more important things to do than deal with you, but I know. that's okay. Did you, call the, did you call the non-emergency? I'll stand out here all day. Did you call the non-emergency? I don't answer to you. Okay. Well, you could save resources, that's why I was asking. Probably is a vegan. I want to change that address. I'll call you back. So now she's mad because she can't block my two cameras at the same time. Once again, I'm protecting my customer's payment information. Do you see this, guys? <laughs> no, she's nuts. Can you believe this? Yeah, no, I'm not. Her post is seven's out of date. It's from 2006, and she's refusing. She's refusing to uh, change it. Yeah, you look better that way. They said. <laughs> It's fine. This one's live, so. Don't touch this box, please. Don't this is touch mine. my camera. I didn't touch your camera. I put the box in front of your camera because you are illegally filming my customer's payment information. <coughs> Dude, guys, hit the like button. Make sure you share this. Everybody's laughing at you right now. You really need to read your post of seven and your DHS memo. I'm trying to protect my customer's payment oh, information. Yeah. yeah, she looks silly. Unbelievable, guys. He's <laughs> a social project, but I think he's just stealing people's credit card numbers. 
Which is illegal. I don't need them. I don't want them. Well, that's what you I'll even edit them, them if I do get them. Go ahead and take your card. Um, the Merrimack... Uh, Merrimack, New Hampshire, post office. Well, he is filming us. He yeah. says that we have no right to privacy. Thank you for the film. Appreciate it. <laughs> Merrimack, New Hampshire, post office. It's expected here, but only an expected Guys, I got two cameras going here, so <laughs> I'm trying to read these comments, but... Yeah, thank you, Freedom. Appreciate it. Howard, what's up? High pockets. So I'm going to stand in the box. No, that's not yours. Oh, so right. don't touch it. I was going to stand in the box, guys. She's having a connect. Man, I don't know what's going on with her. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. Ronnie, what up? Kilroy, Tyrant, Buster, Kilroy, what up? Natalie. Appreciate it, real jingy. Dude, this lady's nuts. Merrimack PD is supposed to be coming, apparently. And, uh... I don't, know, I don't know if she's thinking outside the box or inside the box. <laughs> I'm in the box. <laughs> can you stop? Can you stop saying that I'm stealing? Accusing me of stealing people's information. Can I be filming? Because we take a course every year, which I've already explained to you, that says anyone out here filming can be accused of stealing our, our customers' payment information. So <laughs> as long as you're going to be out here, I will stand here and block it if one of our customers is paying. I don't care if you block it. I don't want it. What you're saying, though, is you're accusing that's me of what stealing. That's will say. Okay. Uh, no, no criminal is going to admit that that's what they're here for. Okay. No. If she's not careful, next job will be a Taco Bell. You're right about that. Thank you, Philip. Appreciate it. Merrimack, New Hampshire, Post Office. Merrimack, New Hampshire, Post Office. Please do not call Kathleen. Guys, please do not call the Merrimack, New Hampshire Post Office. Oh yeah, I already told her. She's getting reported. What's it say in front of the door about mask? Uh, let's go see. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, no, actually, they're right here, guys. Uh, it says please protect yourself and others. It's uh the federal property, so. But um, yeah, we got Merrimack PD right here. And uh, was a car number two. Hey, you heard about that, John? Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? I'm Officer Pepper Sally, I'm on TV. <laughs> so, Keep just come here. <laughs> can, I, um, can I get your name, badge number again? I'm sorry. Yeah, my badge number is 76. My yep. name is Officer Pepper Sally. It's right okay. there. Thank and you. Appreciate I'm, it. I'm with Merrimack PD. So I see for, that. For our users that are just joining us, it's right on the side of the cruiser. There, there. you go. So, okay, sir, so, 
I'm just gonna talk to the guys in there and see yep. what's going on. Yeah, so cool. are, you doing, are you doing like a constitutional audit here? I, I, yeah. Okay. All right, I am. Cool, I am. And you can just let her know about the rules and regulations. I actually let her know about her post of seven, which is out of date. Yeah. It's a rules and regulations on postal property, okay. and she's refusing to uh, change it. Okay. Um, as long as it's changed in the next few days, um, I'll come back and yeah. I'll go check it out. Right. I'll, cool, I'll do my business and then I'll leave. But um, cool, as far as right now, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're I closed, so I'm out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously, you know, you, this is a public facility. If you want, if you want to record and do your thing from the sidewalk, I appreciate it. So I'll get your, I'll get your info and stuff like that. Uh, you know? I don't know about that. So. Does you got like three cruises here? What's that? You got three cruises for this? Well, I mean... Come on, man. Go back on the road. Go do your... Man, so, it's no... Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. This I, got, isn't... I got a call here, so... So, I understand you're doing your constitutional audit, but... I appreciate get, that. We, we got to get both sides of the story. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I do. Okay. Everything's right. on film, so whatever yep. they say, yeah, you, you better... Yeah. Can I get your name, badge number, please? Yep. Officer Maglio. Maglio? Badge number 11. 11. I'm gonna put this out. You know better than that. You guys are learning. Well, you're not the first one we've dealt with, so. No, I hope so. I hope not. You gotta, you gotta uphold, uh, you know, your oath to our rights. That's all. That's all I ask. So let me ask you this: um, Why this particular facility? And you don't have to tell me. I'm just curious. I go random, man. Okay. All right. Yep. You got a call for service on this? I did, yep, yep. Would you be able to write it on a card or something after uh, we're done? I can get his number after. Appreciate it. Yeah, they can handle trespass request. I, I, I know the difference. You know what I mean, corrosive? I do. They're learning, guys. Computer's down. Yeah, I will. I'm just suck. I'm just getting some information. There it is. No, nah, they're not pushing it. Am I being detained? You are not being detained. Awesome. So as far as I'm concerned, just so we're very clear and that you have this on video, yeah. this is a consensual encounter. Do you agree? I agree. Okay, perfect. And based on that, do you want to tell me who you are? I do not. Okay, that's fine. That's your right. I appreciate it. I take it these are your friends here too. I have no friends here. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, they're liking you, man. Getting a lot of likes. This is this for you. YouTube channel go for wild. you. They're liking you right now. Fair enough, man. I appreciate that. It's it's all good to see. No, I'm good, man. I'm not walking away. There you go, camera. Cameras everywhere. Do you agree? Yeah, I do actually. I got 121 friends on here. I'm sorry. Fair enough. <laughs> I redact that statement. Thank you, Carol. I appreciate that bringing that up. Cop score seven out of ten. So I'll just tell you the big thing. The reason why we're here is obviously there was a call for service. What did they call for? What was the call for? So pretty suspicion much, or yeah, pretty much. That's okay. how it came out, but. Just so, just so we're clear, Thank right? You, Lee. you know, we're just, I'm just here to dispel any suspicion. Right now, I have no reason to believe a crime's been committed. Awesome. So, like I said, this is completely consensual. So. Thank you. How long have you been with the force? About three years. Three years? Yeah. Anywhere else before that? Nope. Three years on the job, huh? Something like How that. you like it? I enjoy it. Good. I like it. Good. For sure. Just keep that oath up, man. You know? Remember what you signed up for. You know what I mean? I try to. Every day. That's good to hear. 
I haven't uh, dealt with Merrimack too much, so I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing as far as right now. Yeah. So. Like I said, I don't have a crime here, so. Well, I wouldn't be filming it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> That's the silly part, you know? So you're you're more than welcome to film a public location where there's no expectation of privacy. I know that. Um, but what you can't do is overstay your welcome. If the post office is closed, you, yeah. can't, you can't stand there past closing time. Obviously, I left it literally at five o'clock. What did okay. she tell you? Well, she's there's also people in there stating that you made statements about no ring on a finger and you'll find out where people live. Which yeah. your viewers are making comments like that. I'm not going to answer that question. Okay. All right, because I mean, if you're going down that road, it's that's that's a fine line between harassment. And yeah. Just Did she tell you what she so. said about me? I didn't. I didn't no, of course she wouldn't tell you that, though, right? Do you want to tell me? Yeah, sure, I'll tell you. I don't know whose side you're going to believe more or less, but. Well, do you have I, it on video? I have everything on video. I have two videos going. Okay. Um, no, I mean she made some uh, vulgar comments towards me, saying I have no job, I have nothing better to do, uh, I'm a welfare uh, dependent, I collect off the government, uh, I do this for attention. Um, yeah, so I, I think that's a little bit more um, disrespectful than what I said. Okay. And uh, she was actually putting my property, she actually touched my property and put it inside of a box, covered it with the box, um, claiming that I was stealing people's uh, credit card information, which I have absolutely no reason to do that. Okay. Um, I turn away my camera from that because I don't want it. Uh, I don't need it, and that is illegal. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's really it, man. I stood back, I stayed silent, and I talked to my viewers. All right. I mean, if you're filming public stuff... Then... I know what to do in public, man. I do this all the time, dude. Yep. Just because of people's feelings get uncomfortable doesn't mean I can't do what I'm doing. Right. And there's no expectation of privacy in public. So her standing in front of me, six feet in front of me, did not bother me whatsoever. bit. It's when she came three feet in front of me, okay, and then touched my property. And then telling other people that, you know, all those other stuff that I just told you. Yep. So, so. obviously, I mean, they don't know you from a hole in the wall. They're going to they're gonna be leaving from work you yep. know, momentarily or whatever. Yep. So we're going to keep a guy in the area to make sure that the piece is kept well and that they can get home safely. Yeah. But you're welcome to record. I'm going to. It's, it's a public place. Yep. So. I appreciate it. All right. All right, man. Take care. Thank you. Uh, that call for service. You got it? Yeah, sure. I'll give you the case number on this. Three or Yeah, the call the cops because it's the case number, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. And if you want a copy of that, it takes about 10 business days, so usually about two weeks. You can come pick it up from our records division. What to write a narrative? Yeah, so it, it's it just a call for service, yeah. it's a quick narrative so, report. So it has to go through the clearance process, right? Okay, so even though it gets written tonight, yep, I don't know if it's available for pickup. Yeah, so. I usually email it in, so, so. All, all right, right man, I appreciate Take it. Take care, buddy. Thank you, be safe. Damn guys, sorry. I was talking man. Just trying to read these comments.